Hello again. Uh, this is uh, my story, uh, episode four, part four, and uh, I I say wrong city. I say Asheville, but I come to Ashboro, a, a small city, and uh, the. Where the bus was stopped, it was uh, out, outside the city. It uh, was no houses around it. And uh, there was a man, and he looked terrible. And uh, But uh, I, I have to go with him because I have no money. And... Uh, I was in nowhere place. I couldn't go away from that place. So I have to go with him. And uh, he was nice the first day. We drove to Walmart and I could pick out uh, some curtains and some clothes to me and a little like that, or what I wanted to eat, and uh, and then um, it's very hard uh, story here. Uh, that's why I aside uh, breathing hard because it's hard for me to talk about it to remember, but I have to. Uh, for you to understand my work in the United States. I come from Sweden, and I have never been homeless. I have not been in a church. I didn't know that I could maybe get help from churches. Uh, so I didn't know anything how, how to be in need. And... Uh, in another country also. It would have been easier if I had been been in Sweden. I have that this situation. But no, I have to go where God wanted me to go. So uh, he had a house in the forest. There was no neighbors there. And... Um, I get a room and uh, we sit and eat and I look at up on the wall there was a picture of a, a man that I understood it was he and then a wife and three kids and I felt like like he had killed them I felt that when I saw it and he saw that I I look at the picture and um, he say that uh, yes I look nice in that time but not anymore I have going so old and I don't think that he was older than me Uh, I was 48 and but he he looked very terrible, and uh, I asked him why he did help me. Uh, he had given me money so I could come to his place, and uh, he had bought things in Walmart for me also. And I asked him, why are you so kindly to me? And he say, I am a veteran. I have fighting in Vietnam. And I have killed so many people. So I I was thinking that I should help one person. Uh, I have killed so much people. So I want to help one person in my life. He said to me, and it felt 
uh, a little chilly. It was felt like cold in the room when he said that he had killed so many people. And um, and then uh, uh, in the night I wake up because there were so many dogs barking outside my window and uh, it was like a a light coming in in from the window and uh, in Sweden can it happen that uh, the moon is is so low uh, staying low in, in the sky so the the moon can shine in uh, into a home, but in United States where I was, the the moon is just uh, straight up in the sky. It's, uh, you have to bow uh, back your your head to look up on on the moon. And so it's not the same as in Sweden. But uh, here it was like it was in Sweden. It can happen, not always, but some uh, times it, the, the moon can shine in. And uh, it was, and it was barking. Many dogs were barking outside in the forest. And... Uh, and I went up because it was scary to hear all these barking dogs. Uh, uh, I was scared and uh, walk up uh, for maybe one hour. And uh, then uh, in the morning I asked this man if he had heard all the dogs that was barking and he said that uh, there is no dogs around this house and my neighbors they live far away and those neighbors have no dogs he said and uh, it was good that I say that to him because uh, next night uh, I wake up and uh, it was like daylight in the room. It was was no dark. It was dark outside, but it was like daylight in the room, and I couldn't move in my bed. I was like paralyzed, and uh, but. Uh, but still, I I I could see. I, I could go. I I was going out from my body in the spirit, uh, but I didn't know about this with spirits. But I did it anyway. So it was like I I sit up in the bed and um, and then, uh, then suddenly. Uh, where my feet was, there come this man, this Jesus Christ that had been in my home in Sweden and uh, and talked to me about my childhood. And now he, he come jumping over the bed and he had this, uh, the same clothes he had in my home in Sweden. He had he had uh, those like a monk dress, and uh, he had sandals on on his feet, and he was brown in his skin, and uh, white beard and white hair, and he jumped over the bed, and uh, in the same time he look look at me. And his eyes was was round. It was very big eyes, 
like circle eyes. It was not uh, human eyes at all, but not scary, uh, uh, not scary eyes. It was only that they were big as half of his face and uh, and round, and uh, he was screaming at me, "Get out of here!" He was screaming. And uh, then in the breakfast, I said to this man, what have happened? I said that Jesus Christ came jumping over my bed and scre- was screaming that I should go out from here. And, uh, the man, uh, you know what, what I told him first night. And now the second night have happened something more. So he he sit uh, uh, and wait a, a time and was maybe thinking and then he said I think it's best for you to to go away from here. To, it's better that you you are going with the bus to Virginia Beach where. There you can get a job and live your life. So I give you money so you can rent a place, he said. So he gave me more money. And uh, I I, uh, look at the internet to see if there was a home in Virginia Beach. So I, I... got a room in in Virginia Beach from a woman that that was rent out a room in her big house. And so I was welcome there. So I I took the bus and go to Virginia Beach. And then I come to the bus station in Virginia Beach, uh, Greyhound bus station in Virginia Beach, and uh, I standing outside and wait for that woman that she come and get me, and uh, it was a car coming, and she almost hit me with a car. She she was. Drive the car so fast, and uh, I have to take away the suitcases. It was heavy suitcases I had, and uh, she was almost so she hit me and the suitcase, and run in to the station in Beach. And I said, I know that. I have asked this woman I should rent a room from. Uh, she was 52 years old and uh, black. Uh, and, uh, and this woman is also uh, almost white and uh, she had light hair. She was not uh, black hair. And she had a ponytail. And uh, so that was not the woman I was thinking. So I was waiting for a long time, and then it come a, a woman, a stranger, and I asked her, "Can can we go and uh, call the name into the station? I waited for person that have not come. In. Can you do that for me?" And she went in and. Uh, her, this woman that sent out Rome, her name was Dolores Zafigan, and uh, she called this stranger, she called for her name, and out come this woman that have, have um, a look like a young girl. I was very surprised. And I go with her, uh, but I was thinking that 
he may be uh, was sending someone else to the station to pick me up. Uh, and in the car, which we sit on, I flat uh, up my leg up on the tie. And uh, I was thinking, uh, is she a lesbian? Is she a lesbian woman I, I, I'm going with? I'd be uh, very confused, wondering and frightened also. Because I am not a lesbian. So that was odd for me. Uh, but then I, later on, I, I found out that, that she wa- ha- had like a Joe, the same as uh, Joe, that she has multi personalities. So in when she come and get me, she was so happy to get me. So she, it, it was like she felt like she had a, a friend, a female friend, to be together with. So she was happy, and then she be a young girl. And uh, the club she did on my leg was not sexual. It was that, uh, like, young girls do to each other. They clap on the leg and hug and these things. Um, when we have not started to think about sex so young. Uh, and uh, and uh, it was very strange because when I was in Sweden, I had a dream in Sweden, and it was, uh, um, I saw it was an American house, and it was a street I walked on, and uh, I was surprised, I was wondering why in United States do they have Nordic Birch tree. Where is that? I think I was thinking that they doesn't doesn't fit into the picture as uh, it should be in the north. And uh, and then I saw a uh, a girl with uh, a ponytail and blonde hair. Uh, running into one of the houses on the street. And I'd be so shocked because when we turn up, uh, we drive up on her, the street where she lived. It was that street I had been dreaming about. I don't know why I, I w- had a dream about it when I was in Sweden, but uh, like uh, someone had given me the future, showing me the future I should be in. And uh, and it was a big house uh, and in uh, the neighborhood that called upper class neighborhood and so and uh, she say I don't know if it was true now but in that time I believe her that she had been married to a high rank military man that had died and she she was a widow and uh, the house was too big and cost so much when she didn't have her husband anymore. So she had to rent out a room in the house. I don't know because uh, she was... I didn't see it in that time, but 
later on I come to understand that she she had multi personalities and and what she's saying maybe was one personality's true story and uh, and uh, she she uh, maybe it wasn't true I never know that uh, but she was at least uh, the truth was that she she was uh, going to the military area in Norfolk Virginia and she was uh, um, like she had been there many times so it maybe was true and um, so there there was um, one man that was in the military a man Mexican man that rent a room in in that uh, house and uh, I I had money enough for for a real room but she didn't let me get any, any room I was uh, uh, I had to live even if I pay for 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 to stay I get um, like a guest room um they it have no doors this room and it was a sofa it was no real bedroom and uh, i have only curtains uh, instead of a door so it was no they uh, those men could look in into to me when i was sleeping and it felt no comfort but uh, i was happy to at least be with a woman in her home so i was not by myself but uh, i never could knew that she should be like a devil take a bath I have to go to a, to Dolores bedroom and take the shower but I don't remember that I did it so many times because uh, the the evil personality started to take over my it's um it is like that i know it today when uh, when these people with a uh, multi personality they when they feel comfort when they feel like they know you then they start to to be the evil um, personality then they start the hell for you when they feel like they have the control and they know you then, then they switch over to be the evil personality so it is that did too very fast and uh, so I was promised to, to 
use her bathroom. So she is afraid when she was leaving that she didn't want white kids in her bathroom. And we, I was not allowed to go to the kitchen. She didn't want to have any white kids in the kitchen. And uh, the, the I, I got a little toilet worker, a small one for the, the baby. That's where I go. But I have no place to, to take a shower. started to bring in a man into the house. Uh, I thought that she knew this man. But uh, after a, a time I, I, th I, I saw that this man was strangers uh, coming. And uh, they have with them money to her wine bottles uh, and uh, she talk about me about all the men that coming in and she was very happy and then uh, it changed her personality so suddenly she said that why the, there was so many strange men It was because she was in the, this. I I have to take water now. It was um, she was in the, what uh, it was. I don't know if uh, I I think it must be still this that in telephone talking, talking sex. You know, I don't know what is called a red line or like that uh, in the United States. So she was talking sex with men, and um, she was single, widow, and I was single. And then suddenly she, she started to say that I I am taking those black men that. That I talk to a telephone, and uh, those men that is coming here, you take the white people, and I take the black people, because uh, because she was she was uh, mixed, so she was not really black, uh, and uh, she was a mix of white uh, and black people. But she preferred to be with black men. So she uh, say that. And, uh, the, and it started to come men to the house. And uh, they t took me out in their car. And all those men, it was not many men, maybe three men, uh, three dif different time that come and bring me out and uh, they stop in the forest or somewhere and they pull down their pants in the car and I be why are you doing like that I was thinking like that and I I talked to them and uh, they they uh, 
find out that I was not into sexual things with them. So they drove me back to the house. So I was wondering why all the men in America pulled down their pants. And um, and then was it a man co- that come and he was smarter than those other men. And um, he... Uh, we were by ourselves because um, when Dolores uh, switch change her personality, she always have to go to bed. She always say that she need to take a nap, and when she took a nap, she changed her personality. So. She was up in her bedroom and uh, took a nap. It was, uh, this house had two floors. So, and the living room was on the bottom floor. And he, he, this man and I sit in the sofa and he say that, do you know what she's telling us uh, in, uh, about you? He, he asked me and said, do you know where where I coming from? He asked me. And I said, no, no, I don't know anything. And uh, he said that she, I, I met her uh, in Walmart. She come and, uh, to me and she said that she have a Swedish woman in her home and all Swedish women want to to suck a dick <laughs> and they are very good in that she have told them so that's why they pulled down the pants all these men that I go with in a car I could have been in very much trouble and uh, I thought they should go on date with me, a normal date, go to a place and eat and talk. But it was a sexual business she make me go on, but I didn't understood. And um, so that's I find out that she was talking about me as a, as a whore. A sexual person and uh, so I come to know that and uh, she find out that I knew what was going on so she she stopped to talk to me one well, oh, she was terrible sometimes one uh, she she could be like a whore by herself and she smell so smell so it was like what I was thinking that the devil can smell like it was like rotten meat she smelled like that and when she was uh, walking around and have almost no clothes on uh, very strange clothes on and uh, one day she said to me Eva I'm I'm going out to Walmart now I have no underpants on me and she have a, a very thin dress on a short it was just under her ass bat the the dress and she was walking to the store almost nude and um, and she took up took up a man to her room to to have sex with them for a short time and get money for that but her 
what I think it was her her normal her basic herself she was a, a school teacher and uh, she she was working with computers and um, and she was very good in computers when we we were together in her personality uh, as a teacher and uh, and then i have to, t- to say her full name dolores guffigan and uh, when she was like a whore then she wanted us to call her didi so she uh, she have different name on in uh, what uh, personality she was in so it was different name so in the end of my staying I say to those men don't tell her don't call for her, her with the name Didi don't do it I say to them because when they uh, call her name Didi then it come this evil evil uh, personality Um, one uh, evening uh, she wanted to watch a a movie about Satan a ritual of uh, killing a baby in ritual a sect uh, movie and it was terrible it was so evil it was this satanist and she said to me that my father was uh, a king or what she called it Uh, he was a sect leader for the satanist people and she talked about it that that she was the only woman it was only men and she said she was the only woman that could go into Uh, that satanist uh, church uh, because her father was the leader of it she said and um, then um, when the movie was finished and we were by ourselves and those uh, men was in the room also but they were not with us and uh, suddenly it was something she'd be very angry at me something I I suppose it was not much for make her angry because she was she get uh, she be triggered about watching that movie so her, the, the personality that was after the movie was the evil, the killer. So she uh, tried to strangle me, but it was uh, uh, it was uh, like um, much noise. When she did it, she was uh, screaming with this um, devil's voice uh, very loudly. So. Uh, then when she hold around my neck uh, her fingers and she was over me and uh, I had no chance because it was a big woman and I was thinking I I have no chance and uh, but uh, it was one man that heard the noise so he come out and say what's going on he was screaming to us uh, uh, from up above so she stop and so he he uh, helped me to not be killed so uh, and then uh, when she have calmed down she said to me that uh, you need to to have uh, the um, is water uh, 
anointed water, holy water. We have to have that, and she has some some bottles of it, and she said, "Take this and sprinkle the water over your room." So she knew that she was had been in the personality of of the devil, and uh, so she said that to me, and and she said that when you feel uh, this evil around you if the devil is coming she say then you should should say that that Jesus blood is running through my veins you are going to say that because he can't touch you then when you say that that he said she learned me after her been because she was a mix of of a, a, a saint, a, a nice, holy person, and and the devil, she had that mix. So this come forward when when she come down from to be a devil, she come to be a saint, and she told me. And you should say that. I learned that to people to say that to protect yourself from from Satan. Uh, you say that to him that Jesus' blood is running through my veins and clean it up the whole body. You say that, and he can't touch you. And. Uh, and I had uh, had uh, my a uh, cross ne- necklace uh, and with a cross on to try to help me protect, but th- that cross didn't protect me so much. It's I don't have it anymore because that's a killing weapon because. Uh, the cross was Jesus was on the cross and uh, that's where he died the cross is is a killing weapon if you hang up a person on the cross for some hours that person be, be killed and the catholic church have a cross for on the death bath, bad death bed for people, and uh, light up uh, candles. Uh, I had uh, I find uh, such a cross uh, one day in in a condemned house, and uh, it was like a, like a opening in the cross where they have the candles for to have on the deathbed and so that's that's no protection the cross Jesus blood is protection so you know that it it have no, it doesn't matter if you have a cross it doesn't help you that Jesus blood is helping you I am going to oh, uh, this with the Dolores will take a long time. It will take me next part also uh, to talk about to live with Dolores and how it ended also with Dolores. It will take take as long as it it did now to talk about this part. So I hope uh, you will uh, listen more about my story, how I come to know God. And uh, it's not only God, because so, uh, like uh, Dolores and Joe, uh, I come to know the devil also. So uh, I, 
learn how to prote protect me from from the devil also and uh, how he act and how he, he is and that's very important to know the enemy also to could fight against them and in the end uh, I'm going to be like be together with Jacob the he that become Israel he is I uh, God have told me that he is the he is the one that hold the the God's army those spirit army and I gonna uh, join him in the army there and then I need to know I know how the enemy are how to fight against the devil because I'm going to fight in the army together with Jacob for the truth for the his world to be a better place um, so it's so important uh, it's the devil that tell you if you have heard uh, the dev devil is it that preaching that he don't exist there is no devil it's he that talking to you about that and he he tell also the many things that uh, you should not uh, go close to the devil or the, not listen at the demons he talking like that because he preaching in the pulpit in the church he is in many churches uh, sit, standing in the pulpit and, and tell people what to do what to not do against him so we we need to learn how the devil is working for to could protect us so thank you for listening I hope you get something from it it sounds like a selfish way to talk but in the this selfish things is something to learn from I try to help you by telling you my story thank you for listening and God bless you Thank you.